Today, we're rolling the dice to find out about probability. What is probability? It's a fairly big word for chances. How likely or unlikely is something to happen? We tend to treat some things as certain or impossible when actually they're just very likely or very unlikely. For example, it's very unlikely that tomorrow I'll be eaten by a shark. But I can't say for certain, can I? It does happen, although very rarely. Equally, it's extremely likely, but not certain, that my dad will try and friend me on Facebook if he can find my account. I can't say for sure, but it's probably going to happen. When we talk about probability, we use percentages, or more often decimals, between naught and one. Naught means absolutely impossible, and one means absolutely certain. If something's 50-50, it's about as likely to happen or not happen. It's got a probability of 0.5. To figure out probability, you need to figure out two things. Firstly, how many possibilities are there? Secondly, are they all equally likely to happen? If we flip a coin, we know there are really only two outcomes, heads or tails. Is there any reason why one would happen more than the other? No, so they're equally likely. This means the chance of flipping up heads is one out of two, a half. It's not always that easy. Let's imagine that we're flipping two coins. What's the probability of each outcome? We need to figure out how many outcomes are possible and then if they are equally likely. We can draw a tree diagram to help us figure it out. Let's do it together. Start on the left of your page. I'll draw a little circle or dot to show my starting point. Then we should think about the first coin. It could either be heads or tails. So I'll draw two branches and label each one. The probability of each is 0.5. Remember, a probability of one means it's certain and zero means it's impossible. So a probability of 0.5 means 50-50. If I add up all the options in this column, they should all come up to one, as that will cover all the possible outcomes. Now, let's think about the second coin. It can be heads or tails, and it's still a probability of 0.5. So I draw two more branches out of each part of my tree diagram. Now I'll label each part and again, label with the probability of the coin being heads or tails, 0.5 again. So let's take a moment to make sure we understand the logic and what this diagram is actually telling us. If I flip one coin, 50% of the time it should come up as heads. Then if I flip a second coin, about 50% of the time it should come up as heads. So to figure out how likely I am to achieve heads then heads, I should multiply along the branch of my diagram. 0.5 times 0.5, or I might find it easier to say a half of a half, is a quarter. Let's calculate the probability of each branch here. 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, and you've guessed it, 0.25. All of these options should add up to one. So there are four possible outcomes. Are they all equally likely? Well, the top option is two heads. The bottom option is two tails. The middle two options are both one head and one tail. Either head then tails or tails then heads. Now, can you tell me the probability of tossing two coins and ending up with one head and one tail? I'll need to add together these middle two branches, which both give us that outcome. So my probability of getting one head and one tail is 0.5 or 50%, twice as much as getting two heads or two tails. Thanks for watching.